Hi there. In this video, we'll discuss in detail about cloud monitors and local monitors on Distil. First, let's try to understand where the web app of Distil resides and where the browser extension does. To access your web app, head over to monitor.distil.io. You can easily identify that you are on the web app if you notice Distil's cloud servers written under your watch list. If you need to access your browser extension that you have installed, simply click on the Distil extension and click on go to watch list. Notice how below the watch list, it has the name of the browser that I'm operating on and the URL looks like this. This indicates that you are on the browser extension of Distil. Now let's begin with understanding what a cloud monitor is and what a local monitor is. Let's begin with a cloud monitor. When your monitor is set to cloud as the device, it is called as a cloud monitor. If you add monitors from your web app, the device is set to cloud by default. And these monitors are checked for changes on distal servers. And you will see a cloud icon as the device adjacent to your monitor. Notice how the second monitor in my watch list is a cloud monitor because it has a cloud icon on the device column. Now, if you want to understand what a local monitor is, the best place to begin with is your uh, Distil Chrome extension or whichever browser extension you're using Distil on. Any monitors that you set up via your browser extension are called as local monitors. In this case, the monitors are checked for changes from your browser and these require your browser to be open. The checks for local monitors are performed in your browser either in the background, in a tab, or in a sticky window. The background check option works for static web pages only. And the local monitors device show as a desktop icon if the watch list is open from the browser extension toolbar. Now let's take a look at how that looks. Notice how the same monitors in my extension are indicated with the desktop icon. This means that these are local monitors. And if I go back to my web app, notice how these same monitors have device set to a particular browser. You can see different browsers based on which you have installed Distil on. In my case, I have used the Chrome extension, hence I will see Google Chrome as the device on which I can run checks on. So those monitors indicated with the cloud are called as cloud monitors and those that are indicated with the browser icon or the desktop icon are called as local monitors. Now, if you want to change between the devices on which you want your monitor to run checks on, you can simply use the caret icon against the device and this will open up a drop down where you can select the device on which you want to run checks on. Let's say I want to change my second monitor to the cloud as the device and when I do that you can see that it has updated. To manage the devices simply click on the caret icon again and click on edit. This opens up a window where you can either edit your device or delete it. This is how you can manage devices on Distil. I hope this video gave you an idea of what a cloud monitor is and what a local monitor is. One other important thing for you to note is that cloud monitors can run on the Distil servers 24 by 7 even when your browser is not open. However, local monitors will only run as long as your browser is open and perform checks. So based on your frequency of checks, you can decide between choosing a local monitor or a cloud monitor. If you want to run very frequent checks on web pages, we recommend you to use local monitors because the minimum interval of checks there is five seconds. And if you want to run checks throughout the day, uh, you should prefer doing it on the distal servers using a cloud monitor.